Hi everyone, and how are you doing? Welcome to episode 6 on Iron Horse Farm. We're going to continue today with the drilling. I'm going to put the worker on that. Uh, yesterday we had that little bit of an issue where it ran out of seed and I didn't realise that the new update had actually fixed the problem where the worker cannot seed without any seed in the drill. You used to be able to let it go even if it was on 0% and it would finish off the field uh, despite there being no seed in it. But that seems to be fixed now which in a way is actually annoying because it's meant that it's been working all of yesterday's episode and not really planted anything so it's gonna have to do it all again which has cut into our money a little bit but um, yeah not to worry we'll put the this tractor on it uh, that brings me on to the next thing which is the pronunciation of well I was calling it steer um, apparently it's pronounced steer so I think from now on I will call it that as most of you who have replied to me have said that that is the correct pronunciation um, I didn't even know that it wasn't pronounced steer so uh, yes steer it is we're swapping over this tractor with the New Holland so I can use the New Holland to load up the bale trailer because that's the one with the, well actually no this one does have a front loader attachment it's just it wouldn't really fit very well because it's the New Holland blue loader which is designed for the New Holland. It would fit and work, it's just it wouldn't look very good. So uh, not really going to bother with that. Here's the farm we want. I've already taken the New Holland down there. I've dropped off the front weight and the drill though. So it should just be a case of fitting them to this and getting going. I think I refilled it yesterday. So it should be very easy. There's the front weight. Came at it a bit too quick there. I'm not sure the horsepower difference between these two tractors. They look a very similar size. And I'd say it was more than capable of powering this. And yeah, it's 100% full. So, as long as I keep checking on it, it should be absolutely fine. I need to go up to the field and begin work. There's one thing I'm worried about, and that is we're going to have to rent a lot of machinery. Which, in the short term, is no problem at all. In the long term, it's not very good really, because we're spending the money. And of course we have no resale value at all. So we're actually losing out so the more machinery I can actually buy the better just make sure that all works okay I think it's on the right crop type yep good yep I think that's working it's a bit off um, probably have to finish that up at the end and I think it misses here but yep let's go to the new Holland and get the front loader on Now it's somewhere around here. I haven't actually seen it yet. That's why I said uh, before that I didn't know I had one. Here it is. But we don't have the bale handling attachment, so we're gonna have to buy that. I don't want to rent anything as cheap as that. Uh, where is it? Front loaders and then wrapped bale handler. I think that is the best tool to use. Um, let's have a look here. Yeah, I might as well use it. That was £1,700. The next thing is the bale trailer, which is not going to be cheap. Uh, baling technology, and then the Marshall trailers, the bullet builded. We can afford them, and it would seem stupid to rent them, so I think I will buy one. Uh, which isn't going to leave us with much money but we do still have almost £5,000 so we need to go and pick up those two things then I don't know where they've spawned ah uh, yes, up here, not far away at all it must be the store I think I remember it, JCB dealership I think it is and it may be up there my sense of direction is awful. I 
not far away at all. Here it is. How to get in? Ah, oh, no entrance. Okay. That must be the way out then. I do pick them, don't I? In here then, instead. That's the one. Brings us to the same place, but yeah, might as well follow the rules of the map. There's the trailer. Probably should put the uh, handler on first though. It's a long trailer and these roads are narrow and we have to cross that really narrow bridge so this is going to be fun already uh, done a tight turn there so we want to be down here and I want to join up with the bridge so I need to cut across through to where the yard is and then find the best bridge to cross but they are all very narrow uh, okay um, I've lost the bridge where is it where is the bridge must be down here yep there it is it's gonna be the, the, the turn which is gonna be hard with it being so long and it'd be even harder with a full load of bales on. Needs to be way over here. I may even have to reverse back. Luckily, there is that. I should have gone from up there actually. I'll have to do that in future. And it's straight. I'm sure once I get used to the map, it'll be dead easy. Uh, again, hedge a little bit there. Hmm, so that was a real struggle, getting it round there. I'm just hoping now the bell cell point isn't over that bridge. I don't know where it is. I'm going to have to look it up. Uh, it's going to be a bit difficult. No, I wasn't actually expecting it, which mean, makes me think I really should have used an auto stacker. But, I don't know. I'll try it. We'll do one load. If it all fails, I'll have to use an auto stacker next time. But give it a go. Right, let's go. Let's see if I can do this. I'm very bad at round bales. I'm actually pretty good at square bales. So this is certainly not my area of expertise at all. But I'm going to give it a go. I know this is not the way you would usually stack them. And in fact, it's going to totally fail. I really should be using a spike. Ah, um, <laughs> I am so bad at doing round bales. Maybe I should have used the spike. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Do it for min cab. I think, although it would look better if I was putting them on the other way around, for practical reasons, I think this is probably the better way, for farming simulator that is, not for real life. Uh, just because they won't slide as much on the trailer. Apparently there is a trailer with a locking script, I have looked for it. Um, couldn't find it. So I'm just giving it a go with this Marshall trailer for now. Well things have gone really badly wrong. They all fell off the trailer, I couldn't do it, so I've gone and bought the bale spike instead, which would have probably been the more sensible option to begin with. It's just from past experience I've thought that the uh, wrapped bale handler was easier, but clearly not for these kind of bales. Although I'm still awful at doing uh, any round bale moving whatsoever. I think it's just not going to be possible for me to do it from in the cab. I'm going to have to do it from out of the cab. 
There, that's got it on. And the trailer does not help at all because it's got like this script which you will have seen before where it helps the bales stick to the trailer but when you're trying to put them on it the bale sticks to the other bales which can get a bit messy but uh, at the moment it seems to be going okay but not amazingly well another thing I'm bad at is getting perfectly square to the bale There's no way I'm going to be able to put a second layer on though. They'll be flying everywhere. I don't know if the second layer actually helps them stay in place. It may well do. It's just, uh, I don't think I'll ever be able to get one up there. Maybe one day, but at the moment I'm really bad at stacking them. Right, we'll try the next row. I think one thing that is in my favour here is because the trailer isn't on a tractor it's sort of leaning forwards a little bit which helps the bales stay in place they don't start rolling around on the trailer which is def definitely benefiting it I think there, that was a good example. You see, I'm not actually touching that bale. But it's pushing it because of this script which is on. Which has now messed up those two. Uh, I find round bales quite frustrating. Square bales, on the other hand, I actually really enjoy doing. And I bet if I push this now, it's going to... Yep, push the trailer instead of the bale. That's not realistic. There we go, that's got it. Right, next bale. I don't even know where the cell point is at the moment, so I'm going to have to have a look in a minute. Although we do need some of these for ourselves, so uh, I might take this first load to the yard, possibly. Those two seem to have gone to the back of the trailer. Need to squeeze two more in there. How's the drill doing? 21%, so hopefully it's going to be almost done. Uh, although it is going to have to be filled up again by the look of it. One more, and we'll go. There's no way I can cross the bridge though. So I'm going to be a bit stuck. This may get interesting.
there. Now if all goes to plan, they will all hold themselves in place. But things never go to plan, so uh, we're going to have to we'll probably pick a few off, off the road, unfortunately. The locking script works when you don't want it to, but it doesn't seem to when you do. That one on the back probably should have been pushed on a bit further. Still, I'm now going to go and look for the cell point. If I can't find it, we'll take it to the yard. Well, I've just looked in Giant's Editor to see if there was a cell point anywhere and also if there's another bridge to cross. It turns out it's both good news. The cell point is in the yard, in the main yard, and there is a bigger bridge. If we continue down the same road as before, <laughs> I can't even get the bail on it, um, then we come to a really wide bridge. Uh, so that would be fine for our trailer. Now, uh, I've already lost a bale, just moving it to here, so I'm going to have to be extra careful. I'm going to set my speed limited to, well, 10, I guess. 10 miles per hour. Because even that might be too quick. In fact, it is. Yep. This is not going to do well. I'm going to reverse back. So I can get it around here in one piece. Good. I don't think the collisions are on on those walls there, which makes it a lot easier. So I need to go um, round here and then continue until we get to a junction. Then turn right, continue up there, turn left over the big bridge, and that should be the easy way of transporting the bales. They seem to be staying in place at the moment but I wouldn't hold my breath. I think they probably will fly off if we go any quicker. So at the end of here, right at the end of here, is the bridge. Now if I can make enough money to be able to rent an auto stacker, then that's what I would do. Uh, failing that, I can continue like this. It's just it would be a bit painful to watch. This may be our bridge here. You see they are shifting. That's a much better bridge. Now we can go back on ourselves to the yard. And hopefully they're not going to fly off now. That, that is the worst bit done. I'm glad that I found that other crossing. It's definitely helped. We want to go right here. Straight into the yard. It is handy going to Giant Editor when you're lost. And then uh, go left here. Continue round and then the bell cell point should be straight ahead. Now I just hope it works. I really hope it sells. We'll sell the one on the forks first. Oh, it does. It works well. It should be a case of just reversing into there. Shouldn't have to unload them all. It is definitely a hard trailer to reverse. Somehow the drawbar just seems too close to the back wheels. Now we can see how much we get for them. I bet it's not much. No, nope, not at all. Still, it's all extra money. And I've just noticed that the steer is actually empty, so we're going to have to go and fill it up with some seed. 
yeah, it's continued and it's empty, so that's more wasted time and money. That is annoying. I wish it would stop. Uh, if I wish the worker would finish if he ran out of seed. Because if you didn't have the inspector mod, you wouldn't actually know without going to the tractor. We need to get a pressure washer as well. This tractor's really dirty. fill it up again to the top. That's taken all the money away which we've just got from the bales. Still I'm hoping there's going to be more money in the oats. I'll take it back to the field. I'll get it going again. And that'll be it. This is looking good though. It's done a good job. Better than I could do with such a small machine. But we'll get it going again. Oh, look at it, it would have almost finished. Still, it's not too far off finishing anyway. So, uh, yeah, there it goes, and that should be done next time. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this video, everyone. I know it has been a little bit. Well, I know I, I haven't been that good, uh, which is a shame. I do want to try and perfect my skills with the round bales but I, I know it is difficult and uh, not as easy as the square bales in my opinion but maybe next time I'll be able to do a bit of a better job uh, but until then thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now